Hello friend, our today topic is ankylosis spondylitis. Ankylosis spondylitis, we have many videos, but all the videos are in Hindi. So people are requesting to make video in English, although we already have one video on in English, which is basically a animation video. Uh, people can go and check that. We are putting I icon here. And that is easily understanding the topic. Now we start the topic. Uh, the ankylosis spondylitis is a form of painful ongoing joint inflammation. It is a painful and ongoing joint problem which starts earlier in life, okay, and last uh, the mid 45. At the age of 15, it starts and age of 45 it progresses if you are not managing properly it can affect you, you uh, dangerously it can harm your life most common affected individual first experiencing chronic back pain and stiffness in the spine spine is vastly affected sacroiliac joint and the spine are primarily affected sacroiliac joint and uh, there is a pain inflammation stiffness in the spine and sacroiliac joint whereas thus whereas it making not only leave your life difficult because daily task look tremendously difficult for example Teething, sitting, uh, standing, it make it worse. Worse, even the cooking, laundry work, where the standing is required, the day-to-day -day work is get worse. So people are unable to do daily task. What is the effect of ankylosis spondylitis in uh, your lifestyle? We discuss in the same video later on. Right now, we are with the introduction. Ankylosis spondylitis is also called AS. People also say HLA B27, but HLA B27 is a gene, not a disease. So, ankylosis spondylitis is a disease which also or termed as bamboo spine and is a kind of arthritis by which there exists long term inflammation not short term it is a long term inflammation associated with bone of spine sacroiliac joint often the other joint of like pelvis are joined with it and additionally factors sporadically other bones for instance arms and hips are affected Fingers affected, that is called dactylitis. If fingers are swollen like a sausage finger, it is called dactylitis. In dactylitis, we may, we already made a video in Hindi, that is, we can show here with the eye icon, okay. You can check and go and check that. In there, that, there is a swelling in the fingers, the finger get ankylosed. It is looking like sausage finger, like sausage, it is swollen so much. If you you know what is sausage, you can immediately understand what I am saying to you. So, sausage finger and dactylitis occur in this. Eyes are also affected. The, in the eyes, it causes uvitis. On uvitis, we, are, we also made a video. We, I put I icon here you can go and check otherwise go into my um, channel there is a uvitis video now next uh, I and the bowel create dilemma so I and bowel create dilemma it is not coming alone it comes and affect all parts of the body because actually B27 present in all cells of the body HLA human leukocyte antigen, uh, wherever the immunity gets lower, it, it gets attacked by body immune own cell. For example, if someone uh, having a security guard in, out of their house, instead of uh, saving them, uh, he is attacking on 
on his own honor like that hlb 27 is his purpose is to save us from the diseases uh, <laughs> but in ankylosis patient hlb 27 uh, our immune system comes and attack our own self okay so it affect your eyes bowl uh, your fingers your heels your shoulders uh, your skin also skin it cause urticaria or the skin allergy in the extreme cases back pain is a symptom that is characteristic of this also the main symptom people are coming with the back pain doctor i am having a back pain and it is worst worst time what is the worst time worst time is the morning in the early morning they are getting worse or the night the back pain is worse they are unable to move in the bed tightness regarding the impacted joint generally worse as time passes it start as a back pain pain where goes into tightness tight goes into stiffness stiffness goes into the bending of the joint in this video we are uh, discussing point by point okay even though the causes of ankylosis spondylitis is on, unknown Uh, the there is no permanent cause few people are due to ibs suffering few people are due to other things suffering but 85% of the people affected from uh, hla b27 having having hla b27 antigen ankylosis patient having hla b27 antigen though so we are vice versa use the term ankylosis mollitus and the the hlb27 for the same patient even the patient are mostly termed themselves as a we are hlb27 patient okay instead of ankylosis patient the mechanism that is underlying believed to be autoimmune or auto inflammatory it is autoimmune our immune or auto inflammatory our body is going to attack our, our own self that is autoimmune or auto inflammatory analysis is typically based on symptoms with the help per, per a type of zero negative spondyloarthritis it is arthritis but is a zero negative that ri factor is a rheumatoid element is negative so it is termed as a, a axial spondyloarthritis okay in modern life people say there is no cure for ankylosis spondylitis you can only extend your life or may improve symptom and stop get worse knee so if allopathy or the modern medicine say there is no cure why people are going towards uh, biologics why they are going towards non steroid anti inflammatory drugs drug mo uh, modified anti rheumatic drugs and such a, such as sulfa salazine biologics tumor inhibitor factors uh, there is a confusion in the modern side they are they are not having cure for this but they are still trying something so where there is a too much trying it's better to go for a option which is having a not only cure temporary but a long term relief okay for homeopathy is the best recently we put a video of uh, uh, vishwajit banda vishwajit banda is having a uh, ankylosis spondylitis due to ibs or the due to their abdominal upset okay so when we cure their bowel disease he is permanently cured now he is taking care of of diet exercise from last two year he is living fine without any medicine drug free life for so it is inspiration for other go and check the video the but the video is in hindi you can go and check it there is a two year old video of bishwajit panda and the recent video uh, in the fab fabri or the january last which is having uh, having the testimonial for the same 
Now we are going further. Between 0.1 to 0.8 in individual affected uh, globally. Okay. Onset is usually a teenager. People in the teenage are usually suffering. Women and men. men. Women and men ratio is 3 to 2. 3 to 2 is a ratio. Uh, women and men are affected. Onset set in the teenager. And, and women and women are less affected than male. But when women are affected, it is very difficult to cure it because the monthly cycle interrupts many processes and may make it complicated. Okay, the women and men tend to be equally impacted, although few studies say, but uh, most of the studies say it is 3 to 2 ratio. Okay, it, um, it once was believed that the three times as much guys as women had that condition so i told you three to two but now uh, we are biased on this theory okay this was based on diagnosis regarding the infection in the blood uh, diagnosis can be done by the x-ray guys are more likely than the female to experience modification towards the disease and fusion therefore these people are uh, uh, were, were, were being obtained making use of x-ray. So x-ray is, is suggesting the earlier sign of for ankylosis spondylitis in the sacroiliac joint blood test CRP, ESR, uric acid is a must. Everyone suffering from ankylosis spondylitis, please note down. Every month go and check at least these three tests ESR, CRP, uric acid without any ignorance okay women are more likely than the guys to experience inflammation instead than the fusion somehow women are are having more inflammatory cases than the fusion males are having more fusion cases more physical disability the disorder was fully described in the 1600s by the bernard corner but skeleton with ankylosis spondylitis are found in Egyptian mummies. When Bernard Conner checking the, the Egyptian mummies, he found ankylosis spondylitis in 1600 years ago. Okay, the term is a Greek. Ankylos meaning crooked, curved, round. Spondylitis meaning vertebrae, and itis meaning vertebrae swelling okay so ankylosis is a, a, a term which arises from these words okay ankylosis spondylitis is arthritis that mainly affected the spine by causing irritation within the back this makes straight back curved back rib neck and cage difficult when rib neck cage Difficult in the chest, it is called as costochondritis. It usually starts in the 20s. The body produces extra calcium around the bones and the spine in response to the inflammation. First of all, uh, there is an inflammatory sign, redness, heat, swelling, uh, pain and tenderness. The, due to, in, if inflammation is not controlled, it attracts calcium. Calcium get attract to the inflammatory area and when calcium deposit occur, it lead to bone spores and bone get growing, trigger, uh, trigger the process of arthritis. The bone is immovable. If neck is immovable, it is called, uh, for example, the neck, our, we normally can attach our neck to chest and move right to left. But in advanced cases of ankylosis, people need to move whole upper body to, to check right side or left side. That is called as uh, a robotic neck. Okay. Uh, the neck is called robotic neck or the turtle neck. Like a turtle, it, it, it is like crooked. Okay. It is crooked due to that. In the cervical region, there is a cervical hump occur. If you go and check my uh, physical examination video, there 
देर इज अ पेशेंट इन विच आई एम स्पीकिंग इन पंजाबी ही इज हैविंग सर्वाइकल हम पॉपुलेशन ट्वाइस और थ्राइस आल दो ही नीड प्रोपर एनकोलोजी ट्रीटमेंट एज एन सर्जरीज फॉर देयर सर्वाइकल हम ओके इन रेयर केसेस बोन एसोसिएशन स्पाइन में भी लिंक और फ्यूज टूगेदर बिकॉज ऑफ एक्स्ट्रा कैल्शियम दिस कैन मेक स्पाइन कर्व फॉरवर्ड मोर इन सीरियस केसेज इन सीरियस केसेज स्पाइन इज परमानेंटली बैंड फॉरवर्ड विच लीड टू लंग्स आर गेटिंग लेस लेस स्पेस for breath people are having breathing difficulty people are having costochondritis people are having multiple other problem due to this okay so the risk can be reduced by if this is happening to you control your spondylitis and callosis spondylitis you need you don't need no steroid anti inflammatory drugs dmard and the biologics they are temporary temporary things these can damage more then it it may help you uh, there are other type of spondyloarthritis which are confused with ankylosing spondylitis there is non radiological uh, spondylo axial spondylitis or the radiological spondyloarthritis sorry tick spondyloarthritis spondyloarthritis connected with ibs i told you previously also reactive arthritis anthesitis dactylitis no radiological axial spondylitis in a late stage uh, the x ray is showing nothing so it is told as non radiological ankylosis spondylitis pain is there tightness is all over back but x ray showing nothing that is called non radiated psoriatic or uh, spondyloarthritis is a type of arthritis in psoriatic psoriatic patient who are suffering from skin disease gradually it comes to a joint and uh, it it is also affected at the same level as the ankylosis uh, few of the advanced cases of psoriatic arthritis is also confused with the, uh, the hlb27 patient spondyloarthritis connected with the inflammatory bowel disease that can be also referred as the anteropathic uh, joint this can be linked to the bowel circumstances such as the crohn disease uh, ulcerative colitis these are all part of the leaky gut if you understand the leaky gut we have made video in hindi you can go and check there the in that we in brief we uh, we tell the reason between uh, ibs and leaky gut and with the autoimmune disease that is very important go otherwise go to internet and check the leaky gut once you understand leaky gut you understand half of the the autoimmune disease reactive arthritis ra factor patient are also oh, having a spine disorder so they are also confused anthesitis related juvenile idiopathic joint disease may be titled utilized whenever children or teenager develop it they are the mostly anthesitic patient before 20 age there is more chances of anthesitis the joint and the other things are affected now oh, we are we are going into the further further we are having uh, this now we are uh, discussing the ankylosis long term complication if you check this picture in my website so ankylosis is not coming alone it comes with other symptom like it, in the long term it will cause muscle strain face and joint get confused okay spinal fracture occur in the extreme cases very easily if you are going and checking the spinal fracture will occur okay so primary sign as we discussed before the ankylosis or hla b27 having sacroiliac joint dysfunction back pain it start as a back pain lead to sacroiliac joint uh, dysfunction and then it goes into muscle strain muscle and ligament and get shrinked this lead to torn of ligament or the disc once there is a torn of ligament the disc get more compressed and it get uh, rupture it get bulge or it get affected okay there is a 
uh, ruptured is called that there is uh, ma many complication arise for example there are uh, spinal nerves come out of the, the between the disc if the disc affected your spine is also affected okay decrease space between the vertebrae lead to compression of nerve the 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 nerve which is compressed for example l4 l5 compressed lead to sciatica uh, c3 c4 c5 or any cervical is affected that will lead to a cervical so cervical uh, or the sciatica is also part of this disease in the advanced stage. In the extreme cases, when the uh, the bone get fused, it get ankylosis. There is uh, there is bending occur. The bending occur to one level that the spine get a fracture. Okay, so that's why ankylosis spondylitis. It is termed as uh, that it is the disease will lead to a spinal fracture. Spondylolithesis. Spondyl. Uh, Spondylitis, lithesis, these are the terms used, various terms used. If we discuss all things in the one video, it is getting very difficult for me. Okay. So, we are checking how it is affected. And if you are going through this picture, ankylosis spondylitis type of arthritis effect affecting your spine, but it affects peripheral arthritis. Peripheral joints are affected, heels are affected, uh, shoulder is affected, uh, sternum it is affected called as costochondritis. The basic symptoms are pain, stiffness, fatigue, insomnia. Due to pain and stiffness, people are unable to sleep. If you are unable to sleep, you are unrefreshed, that will lead to fatigue. Ultimately, that will lead to to uh, IBS or the bowel disorder, the, if the, your stomach is not properly clear, you will feel fatigued throughout the day. The well-being is lost by a human being. He is not feeling well. He is deprived. He is getting angry. Why it is happening with me? It affects your relationship. It affects your, your daily life because you are start ignoring people. You are start... Uh, uh, going away from the people uh, you love, okay? So, psychological impact in the youngster is very prominent. In this uh, I, in effect of quality of life, ankylosis spondylitis affect personal relationship of a patient to a society. If you are working, you are confident enough. If you are depending upon others for your, your uh, daily work or for your you are uh, uh, daily expenses you are begging from someone you are you are on the mercy of other people definitely uh, you are getting panic you are getting depressed it uh, start as anxiety whether whether i will improve or i will not improve whether i will improve or not improve or whether this uh, will kill my life or how long i can live people goes into depression because the first word comes into the internet if you search that ankylosis spondylitis is is non curable disease if it is non curable why the modern uh, science doctors are treating it and treating it with this antibiotic may uh, with the uh, steroids non steroid anti inflammatory drugs dmart drug modified anti rheumatic drugs and with biologics make it more worse because it is economical also challenging these are having huge uh, cost and you cannot bear all cost throughout the life you can uh, take the cost of the medicine for few months or years for example i told the case the, the case is recovered within one year from last two years he is not having symptoms there is doctor uh, there is uh, one amit mal uh, there is one Gurpreet Singh video in my channel. The Gurpreet Singh is very suicidal and he is having a very uh, uh, thinking of uh, hopelessness, depression, anxiety, panicness. That what happened? He approached me in the mid of the the lockdown in 2020. I recovered him last two or three years. He is a different person now. He lives normal life. He is doing normal job. He is completing normal 
पीपल ओके इवन वन ऑफ आवर पेशेंट इज हैविंग अ मिस्टर हेल्थ इंडिया टैग बट ही इज केयर टू टू टेल अदर टेल अदर दैट आई हैव रिकवर बिकॉज सम पीपल आर नॉट शेयरिंग देयर देयर लाइफ विद अदर इट इज बैड बिकॉज इट इज नॉट helping other to recover if you go through my channel there are many stories of people recovering it it reduces your anxiety that whether it is curable or not it, it reduces your depression if anxiety start uh, uh, anxiety and restless are together okay first of all someone knows he is having hlb 27 doctor say it is not curable then why they are giving medicine so people are getting anxious what is happen what will happen with me what will happen with my health what will happen with my future whether i go to marry or not marry these will lead to into to our reduced work capability because the mind is going into anxiety so the work is getting reduced and people are getting less socialized they are staying alone no discussing with someone this lead it to depression if you are having this problem go and share with your girlfriend go and share with your mother and and father i i have many patient uh, who are getting married during treatment or after treatment recently one or two patient are getting married they are living very good life so so confidence makes to make these decision once you get improved up to one level you have that confidence to go further in your life many of the ankylosing patient i know they are not going for marriage due to these reasons okay so that is also very long wrong okay so never ever uh, go through this and now we are coming to a symptom symptom if you go through my website this picture is clearly mentioning the symptom symptom is a lower back pain stiffness in the body posture deformity occur and the fever and weight loss if you are not taking steroid if you are taking steroid the weight gain are many cases they are usually getting weight okay in the earlier phase of ankylosis spondylitis probability t of the cause is rigidity discomfort in your spine morning discomfort is the main symptom pain they that wake up in the mid of the night or the evening is the main symptom pain is single on both bottom and quiet back associated with leg pain pain hip pains are related with the leg pain also a patient having a back ache unable to turn himself in the bed typically back ache usually in available in short and painful means but discomfort from ankylosis for ankylosis spondylitis can be permanent or the pain can be permanent in initial cases pain comes and goes pain comes and go in the a uh, longer cases pain remains for a long time okay okay and soreness at the heel and pain in the heel i told you many times pain and inflammation in the fingers and toe that is called as dactylitis tenderness in the the pelvis and uh, sacroiliac joint chest pain costochondritis irritation of the bowel ibd leaky gut other things i um, i explained it fatigue is also main symptom why fatigue occur due to unable to sleep if you are unable to sleep you are unrefreshed you are unrefreshed you are having fatigueness if you are having ibs or irritation of bowel your bowel is not completely evacuated or you are having a abdominal disorder that will also lead to a fatigue depression i told you the depression cycle in the above a lifestyle disorder okay now it's come to the inflammation of the eyes that is called uveitis the first sign generally are the painful red eyes there is a feeling of wheel in front of eye i as you are seeing through some cloth the, the the or the foggy vision it may become uncomfortable chest 
and uh, uncomfortable to the light if you are looking at the light there are stars coming blurred vision floaters susceptibility to light few people are unable to bear light few people are having a frequent attack of blindness we are having patient uh, which are having frequent depression and blindness or the wheels uh, the place that is best going in the eyes casualty department people go and allopathy having what they are having prednisolone drops prednisolone drops are the steroid steroid are damaging more than the helping you more prednisolone is a steroid which is affecting your your Uh, kidney it affect your bone density to reduce it and it may lead to avian if we people are using uh, uh, prednisolone in the ankylosis patient mostly we checked it it lead to the avian cases okay uh, so now we are having further further uh, discussion so uh, after symptoms comes the causes what are the causes i told you the causes are the minimal causes uh, first of all the causes are basically reason behind it first of all it is a age factor young age from the 20 to 45 is more affected okay so young age are having these problem more uh, second uh, repetitive neck injury people are using neck too much that will lead to the neck problem people are uh, picking up weight unnecessarily or wrong way they are morely prone to the injury although actually b27 start attack but these thing get it worse people are smoking make it worse people are overweight make it worse people having some type of injury either in the neck whiplash injury or or other injuries also lead to this the causes of ankylosis is has no understood specific cause there is no specific cause though genetic element be seemingly involved in specifically individual who are having genes called hlb27 have reached a great le uh, uh, increased danger of establishing in spondylolisthesis arthritis and callosis also it is not a major cause danger respect your sex male are having more and callosis than the uh, female okay your actual age onset typically happen in the puberty and last till the adulthood if you can maintain up to 45 year age then you are uh, at no risk from the 20 to 45 year age control your ankylosis otherwise the body will go into deformity people can die due to this or they are having vascular damage uh, they can lead to multiple complications your hereditary hereditary people are having multiple people are having in this for example i am treating one father and son there are many cases where brothers are affected uh, someone called me one or two year before they are four brother all are having ankylosis that is a worst scenario oh, i am having deeply affected by their story okay the complication complication in severe ankylosis new bone type included that is body make the effort to heal but the bone instead of healing it make new bridges between the vertebrae eventually lead to the fusion of the bone those element of your spine become inflexible and stiff body try to repair with the the calcium instead of uh, repairing it make it worse because where there is inflammation calcium is attracted the more calcium if going to the inflammatory area and you are not controlling your inflammation that lead to stiffness bending bamboo spine or the bending of the the spine i swelling uveitis uh, one of or more common complication of ankylosis spondylitis uveitis caused by rapid onset attention pain sensitivity to light i told you previously there is a blurred vision like how someone is uh, looking through a wheel uh, or through a cloth uh, 
so foggy vision foggy in foggy season you you understand the vision is getting difficult far sightedness is difficult near sighted vision is okay compression crack in the in the some people bones thin during the early stage of ankylosis spondylitis uh, weaken vertebrae can crumble increasing the seriousness you can stub or your neck uh, your spine get crooked okay heart problem in the uh, in the advanced cases there is rota gatron involved uh, which is a largest uh, we uh, the largest artery of the body okay the aorta is inflamed and expand to the point that it distort and the aortic valve get affected or it get ruptured up also okay so this is the this is a basic things you need to understand it okay now we discussed ankylosis cause symptom we cannot discuss every point here online because in the video video has a limited limited scope okay so you can go and check the all article online go to my website the i am also this this is a, a screen recorder we are discussing from our website okay in website i i write a article i cannot discuss here each and every point but you go through it now we come to a diagnosis how you can diagnose ankylosis spondylitis people are going through blood test usually the blood test is hlb27 but with the blood test hlb27 you need to check crp esr uric acid uh, every month and and continuously check the progress crp is very important in the advanced cases rather than the earlier phase cases x ray i told you radiological or non radiological in the earlier stage the x ray is not showing anything that is called non radiological access spondylitis in later stage it is showing the inflammation in the back inflammation in the sacro joint initially and later on in the in the bones in the vertebrae so x ray is is uh, showing uh, uh, changes that is called radiological spondyloarthritis ct scan in advanced cases ct scan show the facer joint ligaments and the uh, bone fusion up to the level avn and the other symptoms physical examination physical examination we make a video in hindi or english you can go and check there and there is uh, there is a detail Uh, uh in the detailed video in hindi or english there are subtitle in english uh, people are unable to understand hindi or or punjabi <laughs> they can check in the english or english uh, subtitles on the subtitles there shobhna test is a very important test in the physical examination in shobhna test uh, use in the clinical way to measure the flexion of the lumbar spine perform through examination of your spine where sacroiliac joint uh, we check it okay sacroiliac joint uh, in uh, we are pointing two marks in the sacroiliac joint later on we go and do basic thing we are doing we are pointing uh, each mark on the both side of the sacroiliac joint in the in the the dump of uh, the hip okay later on we go and check it in the center we marked it 10 cm above that or 5 cm below that uh, we uh, mark it and then we check how much your spine get flexible normally it is 15 to 21 goes in few patient our patient it goes into 22 24 new people who are doing doing yoga yoga is very good for these patient okay so so do yoga on the regular basis it increase your flexibility you need flexibility the uh, exercise rather than the other exercise there is tragus test wall to to tragus Uh, you can check the cervical deviation uh, uh, there is a um, test done by few few other other ways you can go and check into my video 
so diagnoses are physical uh, blood x-ray ct scan and the other one okay okay so now we are discussing further okay so now the come what is the best homeopathy medicine everyone think what is the best homeopathy medicine homeopathy doesn't have uh, any any single remedy for this homeopathy treatment is focused on individualistic approach individual are treating rather than our disease is treating if disease complication is part of the treatment uh, i uh, there are patient visit us for example one patient visit me from the delhi he is taking treatment from some homeopathy doctor is very famous for ankylosis in delhi uh, he told me he is having a sacroiliac joint pain uveitis uh, costochondritis um, doctor in delhi only treating the ankylosis spondylitis he told i am not treating your uveitis or i am not treating your uh, uh abdomen i am not treating your chest pain okay <laughs> if someone is not treating your all things together as a comp- these are the complication of the ankylosis you need to understand you need to treat the ankylosis spondylitis along with the complication of ankylosis spondylitis until or unless you treat the complication of ankylosis spondylitis with the ankylosis you cannot recover and you need to give up your risk factor or your smoking overweighting overeating eating and exercise or lifestyle is very important people are working on mobile or the computer they are continuously having the the neck bend normally if we bend our neck it lead to 50 lbs to 60 lbs weight okay so if i bend my neck i am having 60 lbs weight if i am eating whatever medicine best of the best medicine if i am not improving my lifestyle no medicine can recover you i can assure you best of the best medicine even biologics get failed fail or the old medicine even homeopathy get failed if you are not improving your lifestyle so our focus is to to control complication control hla b27 control risk factor help patient to give up smoking bad habits overeating overweighting we are providing diet chart to our patient in diagnosis in physical examination examination we are continuously checking progress that is very important homeopathy depend upon the constitutional medicine if we are taking all the data from the head to toe from head to toe we are making a picture when that picture comes into into our our um, our medicine that will lead to a cure okay homeopathy clinical treatment not only improve the cure cases it le- it improve the chronic cases you can go and check the the various type of patient i have treated there are bed ridden patient some are having physical disabilities recently i have cured one youngster who is having a having a limping in leg plus costochondritis plus uveitis the patient need to take medicine wrong, uh, regularly people are uh, stop taking medicine when they get improved the patient is for in four months he is 99% broad he is having no symptoms so he is not taking medicine regularly at least take medicine from a doctor from from least 4 month to 1 year relief of the pain is not our concern our concern is to control the progression and and maintain a body up to one level that it can maintain itself later on on its own you can check a bishwajit panda video in my channel regarding this now come to a homeopathy medicine everyone asking tell me best homeopathy best in best homeopathy medicine so there is nothing like a best homeopathy medicine if we say there is a best homeopathy medicine it is a biggest lie in the world still we can tell you the medicine which can give you a proper relief and in the better terms that is giving relief okay so the medicine which comes first in uh, these are the medicine which are usually used uh, in uh, in the ankylosis patient but these are not the the only medicine there are thousands of medicine in homeopathy 
Hey, I show you the indirect property. There is a difference action through which I can um, guide you a medicine. After proper case taking, proper repatriation, we reach to a medicine. So the medicine is never a, a single remedy. You need to understand it. Okay. So and first medicine is written here is arsenic. So arsenic is a medicine for a patient who are having anxiety, restlessness, what will happen with me, what will happen with me in the future, doctor, uh, whether I, will, I am curable or uncurable, whether I can be, be a children or whether I can, I can go for, uh, go and marry with someone, I am going, go and, and do this or that, there is anxiety, restlessness, anxiety, restlessness, not only the mental, uh, physical, it is mental also. Physical, mentally, both restlessness. We are providing arsenic album medicine. Uh, in there, there is restoxis, not relating. Restoxis is for patients who are having physical restlessness rather than the mental restlessness. People with the physical restlessness ha having too much physical restlessness, but mentally stable, they can take restox. Restox is for those patients who are aggravated in the winters. They are aggravated in the uh, in the initial stages, uh, uh, initial stages of ankylosis spondylitis. Restox is acute remedy that is very good palliative. In these cases, we make one video in Hindi, a single remedy for ankylosis spondylitis. Very Rarely people check that video. Uh, actually, uh, people are insisting for um, medicine videos, but they are not checking those videos. I don't know why they are not checking it. Uh, now, the further, the second medicine is calcarea carb. Calcarea carb is those patients who are taking steroids. They are fatty, flabby, overweight patient. They are having longing for eating undigestible th things. Girls or or males which are eating dirt, which are eating eating wool, charcoal, they are these type of patient. The undigestible things are they desire for. Okay, they are having increased desire for egg, sore smelling body, extreme perspiration, slight. Uh, slight type of physical work lead to extreme perspiration. Pain is relieved by lying down on the painful side, either right side or left side, sacroiliac joint affect one side, right side or left side. So it is good for sacroiliac patient. Calcarea carb is also differentiated from the calcarea force. Calcarea carb pains comes and goes. In calcarea force there is a constant pain that is like arsenic, there is a constant pain, but the pain, uh, we can differentiate it from rustox. Rustox having uh, relief in pain while walking, while the calcarea for floor force or floor patient are not relieved by, by walking, okay? They are having continuously pain whether they walk or not walk, okay? Now the further medicine is causticum. Causticum is a very important remedy. People are ignoring causticum. Why? I don't know why. It will lead to the, the shortening of the muscle. So the extreme cases where there is a shortening of muscle, for example, uh, they are having limping in one leg, uh, the causticum and the plumbum are the best medicine in these cases. But uh, I am not guiding this. I am just suggesting it. Ankylosis spondylitis is a dark complexion patient uh, is suitable to causticum. They are uh, rigid fiber. The muscle are thick. Okay. If they are more stressless at night. They are having sinking in the strength. There is sinking in strength, fate and sinking strength feeling by the emaciation is, is marked due to this disease. The muscle is getting emaciated, okay? Worry of long standing, slight standing lead to a pain. So he is always worried where there is a standing required. He get worried. Uh, someone, someone uh, standing in the row, uh, 
and he uh, he then follows his patient standing is the worst uh, uh, condition for these patient so those patient costicum is a good remedy simsifuga simsifuga is for those patient who are in extreme depression they so there is a cloud in uh, above our eye head there is nothing good in life everything is bad happened to me why i am i am suffering why i am suffering why god you you give me this is what the wrong i am doing the fear restlessness and anguish is marked fear of death is too much okay these people die fear of disease fear of death that the death is is uh, painful uh, they they are thinking too much severe pain in the region darting from side to side from one side to other side lancelotti like a electricity like electricity stuck if someone feel it someone have some experience he understand how bad pain is this bearing down sensation and relaxation of the parts parts seem it is bearing down it is not having strength they are emaciated okay now we come to a guacom guacom and belladonna are the two medicine for the inflammation in guacom there is uh, uh, swelling without redness although inflammation first symptom is redness heat uh, swelling uh, pain tenderness so in this redness is not there people are having swelling with the pale looking uh, organ if you check there is heat in 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 your back there is heat coming out of your knee but the organ looks pale then the remedy is is guacom if it is red hot painful with the fever and inflammatory symptom then it is belladonna last medicine which we discussed here uh, is a phosphoric acid and silicia phosphoric acid is for sad despair they think that they are unable to cure in their life they are in extreme debility debility is mental physical sexual in the males it is very good remedy listless apathetic indifferent does not like to live does not like to talk does not uh, like anything in life uh, lose their motive to live in their life they can use phosphoric acid remedy now last remedy is the silicia silicia is for those patients which are having lack of grit these silicia is from making from a sand if you hold a sand in your hand it slip down okay like that silicia is not having a grit in their life they are, they are not having strength in their life everything is lost in their life that is losing from their hand they are having extreme type of internal feeling that everything is getting lost lost in my life nothing is is that i can hold in uh, there is cramps in calves and so person feel cold chilly lay uh, and and there is a extreme chilliness in the feet both feet are extreme chilly even wearing a two or four socks doesn't make it it comfortable they are having uh, they are wearing sweater then they are wearing one jacket then they are wearing two jacket then they are wearing third jacket the person is extreme cold and chilly chilly if you hold their hand their hand are, are chilled as the ice okay so this is our last medicine there is hope for every hopeless patient do not lose hope everyone i meet uh, youngster these days uh, old generation is very good they they know how to fight they never uh, want sympathy they fight for their them, themselves and colossus patient are the warrior you need to fight till the end never ever ever give up giving up doesn't make you a better person it make you a worse person because you are you are connected to your home your family your mother your father your parents never ever give up and and take homeopathy homeopathy is very effective the medicines which are telling you initially that it is incurable and 
not having a positive attitude towards attitude towards you how the, those medicine can help you if you need any type of assistance i you can call me i am provided my number in this channel multiple times you go and check check we may have countless opportunity to earn wealth but when it comes to regaining our health we are not having multiple opportunities okay so life is not a generous so so oh fight 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 uh, let us cherish every moment of life prioritize our well being for once it is lost the emptiness it leaves behind never be filled so start your treatment as early as possible don't ignore your health health is a uh, ornament uh, more precious than any gold in your life if you can buy your health by giving equivalent amount of gold you can uh, still having a hope in your life okay so never ever give up giving up doesn't make it good it make it worse for your life okay uh, so by today topic is over it is more than one hour topic i think many people blame me why you are making so much long video but if you check i am uh, i am only discussing half of my my video here okay so half of my website point i discuss there if i am going through all the points i have in my mind it, it this video never end okay because there is huge amount of knowledge i cannot discuss in the single video for example uh, what type of shoes is required what type of chairs are required what type of Uh, lifestyle improvement uh, required there is a diet videos chair videos shoes video there are uh, eyes videos there are uveitis video costochondritis video enthesitis dactylitis uh, uh, multiple things uh, ankylosis in ankylosis so go and check the, those old video because you cannot get all through the video go and through my website there is all point written although though it leaves it seems lengthy but once you go through you understand your disease properly and and you can make a serious decision towards your cure okay so bye thanks a lot today topic is over okay hope uh, you are not getting bored my video but giving half information is more dangerous than giving no information okay so that's why when i am making video i my video is getting lengthy because there are, are too many point we need to discuss it okay so today topic is over bye thanks a lot keep subscribe our channel please like video if you want to like it okay there is no one force you to like it